Mr. Wara, I'm here. Yes, it's really me. I'm not a clone. Hey, look at this. What do we have? Ooh, look at those vibrant colors. Makes me just want to do math. Yeah, do math. Let's do a lot of it. Let's take a look at our objective here today. We got one of those wonderful Eureka math videos. They totally rock, man. Yes, they do. Look at our objective. Our objective, or if you prefer, learning target. If we're going to compare decimal fractions to the thousands place, yes, to the thousands. It says using like units and express comparisons with greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay, let's get going. I can't wait. Let me put actually two numbers. Let's put this number. And you should be saying that number to yourself. Thinking, do you know how to pronounce that number? Go ahead, say it out loud. Who cares if somebody sees you talking to yourself? It's okay. Okay, I'm going to compare this number. Now, how do we say this number? Yeah, we say 13,196. And then we have this other number here which says 13,296. So the question I guess I would want to know is which number is larger? How can we tell? Hmm, well... They seem like they have a lot of similar digits. However, I do notice something very, very interesting in a particular place value, do you? I bet you do. That's right. Right there in that little hundreds place right there. And in this hundreds place here. Ooh, this guy wanted to succeed. Well, maybe it was because he's the winner. That's right, 13,296 is the greater number. And that's because when we look at comparing numbers, right, we, we first look to see do they all have the, the same number of digits. Because if we count, we know that the 6 here is the lowest place value. However, they both have, it's a, they're, they're both 5-digit numbers. Therefore, we could go and look at the highest place value, which is the 10,000th place. And I know you guys did this probably in third and fourth grade. And then you keep going, ooh, it's a tie. It's a tie. And then finally you come to the hundreds place value and you see that the two wins there. So they were just warming up here, all right? So that the 13,196 then is less than 13,296. Yeah, cool. All right, let's move on. Ooh, look at that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have another, we have the same objective there, but he looks really skinny and long, but he's up there. We keep him up at the top of the page. And we also have something else down here. Ooh, what is this thing? Well, this thing is called a place value chart. If you haven't seen one before, yeah, pretty basic. But what we're going to do is we're going to compare a couple of decimals. So let's compare this number and this number. Okay, so let's compare these. Many of us are going to say 0. Point, right? 0, 1, 2, and a lot of times we'll say numbers like that. But let's say this number in unit form. Let's say it this way. Let's say we would say 100th two thousandths. Now, which number is larger? Again, we were looking at ones before. So let's go ahead and write our numbers in a chart. Now, we have ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. We have tenths, hundredths, thousands. Okay, we have whole numbers and we have numbers less than, less than one whole. And where do we put that decimal separating them? And I'm seeing that right here. Aren't you seeing the same? So like right here, we have a decimal point. And I could actually put it down here just so you can see on my place value chart. Not the prettiest circles in the world, but I think they'll do. And so we'll go ahead and see with that decimal now, we can go ahead and plot and enter this one here because this one doesn't have any tenths. However, it does have hundreds and thousands, so we'll put those there. And there aren't any ones. And then this one over here, we could put the zero. And then we have a couple more zeros, and it looks like we have a 2. Look at that, the 2s, they're tied. It almost makes you think that the number is the same size. But by looking at which, which one's larger, you might think to yourself, well, the 12 thousandths is the larger number. Larger because, first of all, 
it has a 1 in the hundreds place, whereas this number here does not. And since we're always going to the highest place value to determine which number is larger, we can say that this 12 thousandths is more than 2 thousandths. And we can say 12 thousandths because that last place value indicates to us how that decimal is going to be named. So we could write this out now then as that two thousandths then would be less than that twelve thousandths. Okay, isn't this easy? I know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Mr. War or Roy, is that the best you can throw at us? Really? And I'm thinking, no, just stay seated, please. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to some larger, well, well, appears to look like larger fractions. Actually, they're just bigger numbers. I don't know how much larger the fractions are, but it says we're going to compare 299 uh, over 1,000 or thousandths and three-tenths. Ooh, okay. So I would say, first of all, we want to write 299 thousandths, probably in standard form, in our place value chart that would make things a little nice so let's do that okay so i've put in our decimal places here so we can see that and now i need to go ahead and enter those numbers and 299 thousandths lets us know right away well we have thousands here and isn't that that place value there wouldn't we want to just fill in the 299 i don't know if you can see that there we go much better now we have that 299 thousandths, and here we have 3 tenths. Okay, well here's my tenths place. Could I just put my 3 there? I kind of think that I can. Now when I look at that on the place value chart, this is which decimal has more tenths? Well, of course, it's the 3 tenths. Now if we traded the 3 tenths for thousands, how many thousands would we need? Hmm. Okay, so if we exchange these, we convert the tenths into thousands. How many would we need? Well, some of you might have been thinking, you know what, Mr. War? I think if you just put two zeros in here, now you've brought your decimal named up to the thousands place. Wouldn't that be 300 thousands? And I would say, yes, you're absolutely correct. That is true. And, you know, that is one of the mathematical practices were going, oh, he went inside, come out. Okay, he likes to do that sometimes. Maybe this will keep him. So we're going to look at this mathematical practice four, which is, again, model with mathematics. It says, I can recognize math in everyday life and use math I know to solve everyday problems. And this, in this case, is definitely the symbols because we're using symbols and understanding of greater than, less than. And we're also looking at something else, I think a structure, which could very well be another um, mathematical practice. Okay, we'll set him on the side there. So we got a chance to look at that. See, we showed this relationship with a symbol. That's how we're modeling with mathematics. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we could say then that the that the 299 thousandths is less than our 3 tenths, which we know is also 300 thousandths. Which, if this is 300 thousandths, and this is 299 thousandths, we can also state the obvious, right? That 3 tenths is only 1 thousandth greater than the 299, because the numbers here follow the similar sequence like they do with whole numbers. Okay, okie dokie, yeah, yeah, is what I say, move on. Ooh, what do we have here? Now we're comparing some more fractions here. Now we have 705 thousandths, and we're going to compare that with 7 tenths. Okay, let's take a look at that. Same kind of thing. Let's get these in our place value chart. Definitely want to get in our decimal place. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in. 705, well, there aren't any ones because they're both fractions. So I can put 705 thousandths. That's what we have here. I like it. It's like really easy, huh? 7 tenths. Okay, like it. There are no whole. Oh, here we go. Now, one thing that we can do, and this is actually known as an equivalent decimal, is we can put zeros in here. And that doesn't change the value of that decimal. It's just called an equivalent decimal. Isn't that kind of funny? I mean, we talk about equivalent fractions, but an equivalent decimal, really, Mr. Wara? Are you just making this up? Like, no, this is for real. 
serious. You can call the math council. It's the truth. So if we can do that, that makes it easier for us to compare these two decimals. Well, we can see which one's larger, can't we? Pretty easily. We can look at the 705 thousandths and know that that's more. So I'm going to go ahead and list that. I'm going to go ahead and put my 7 tenths is less than, okay, my 705 thousandths. Or even in the fraction form would have been fine to do the same thing, putting it 7 tenths is less than 705 over 1,000. Yeah, I like it. Let's go to the next page. Is it getting harder yet? No, not yet. Okay, just hang in there. It will. Oh, it will. Okay, now we have 15 and looks like 15 and 203 thousandths. Let's go ahead and get that into our chart. You're getting that decimal point. That separates the whole and the less than one whole. The fractions, the decimals, they're all to the right over here and the numbers just keep getting bigger as you go to the left. Interestingly, they do keep getting smaller as you go to the right. So let's put that number in. Well, we have a couple here with 15. Wow. I'm just getting bigger. I'm scared. No, I'm just scared. Okay. And then we have 15. Okay. And we're going to put the 21 in. Now, again, look at these numbers all match up. However, we can look at the hundreds place and immediately see that the 1 is greater than the 0 in the hundreds place. So this number wins. Even though we could put a 0 in there. Now, some of you might want to say, but it has a 3 over here. And Well, that's great, but that's only 3 thousandths. And we know that the thousandths place is one-tenth the value of what's in the hundredths place. It, we need 10 of these to equal one hundredth. Just like we need, well, we need 10 hundredths, don't we, to equal one-tenth. So it's always about a power of 10. Now we have 15, and let me see, well, this was actually a decimal. Oh, this was a larger number. Oops, let's switch that around because I wanted to do my less than this way. And so then we would be good to go because 15 uh, and 203 thousandths is less than 15 and 21 hundredths. Okay, ooh, it's getting harder now, Mr. War. Yeah, I told you. See, now we're going to have to order from least to greatest. Oh, no. Who do you call? Ghostbusters. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know who you would call. You would just lifeline, call a friend. Uh, I don't know. A mathematician. Call Mr. Wara. I don't know. I'm barely smarter than a fifth grader. I might let you down, okay? <laughs> so, get on to, with the show here. Least to greatest. Okay. I think we could do least to greatest. Uh, we have, now you could use your place value chart if you like, but I think for these problems now that I've kind of got the feel of the place value chart and I know that I have that and I know I could make one at any time I, I need to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this without making one because one of the key things was we need to look at the, the number of digits. See here, every one of these decimals have zero holes there are no it looks like a hole though doesn't it no it's not but they have no whole numbers so that means these are all like fractions or decimals they're less than one so i'm going to look in see if they do have the same amount of digits and if they all have three digits okay that means each number can be represented in the thousands because that's that last place we have tenths hundreds thousands so now i look at well, the largest place value is the tenths because you only need 10 of these to make one hole. Whereas these, you need a hundred to make a hole and here you need a thousand of them to make one hole. So this is the biggest guy on the block. Okay, and interestingly, by looking at that decimal place of the tenths, we can immediately find which number is the least. It says we have to order from least to greatest. Well, he doesn't have anything there. Sorry, but 56 thousandths is the least number here, has the least value. And it's because he doesn't have any tenths. Now, nice, look at this, one, and we have four and five. So this is pretty, pretty clear cut. Notice I'm trying to find new words, huh? Clear cut, I would call this for sure. And then you can just copy down the rest. 
again making sure I double check that it did say least to greatest because these could get turned around lots of students make mistakes saying order from and then they go and okay you know and they forget they have to be you have to read very carefully I don't know this is so easy I said it was supposed to get harder and it's not getting any harder all right, well, let's look at this one. Ooh, this one does say order from greatest to least. Okay, they're switching it around. Makes it a little confusing. Uh, so I need the largest. Now, I'm again, I'm going to look at, ooh, look at the challenge here. See, I have 27 holes here. I have 29 holes here and 27 there. So right away, 29 and four hundredths wins at first place. Now, the reason why I think this was a good example is because you're probably thinking, but there's more digits here. The numbers look bigger, right? We think they look bigger because there's more digits. Again, that doesn't mean anything in math. Trust me, you can have a lot, a lot of digits and it doesn't mean the number's very big. What's important is where is it in the place value? And in this case, the place value, the ones place has a nine. The other two have seven, sorry. You are not the chosen one. You must wait your turn. But now it's the competition between these two numbers. And if you look at there, they're the same. So we immediately go into the tenths place and we can see, and they have, oh, by the way, the same amount of digits. They both have a zero in the tenths place. This one has zero. Aha, this one has one hundredth. So he beat them there and he beat him right there. So that means he's the next guy in line to the throne. No, just so then we can put our 005. How about that, huh? Yeah, I do love this color. Now, this is a shorter video. That's kind of all we have. I don't have more for you. Okie dokie then, my friends. That concludes this lesson. Oh, I'm kind of sad. It went so quickly. It just, oof, it like whizzed by. My goodness. You want to hang around for another 10 minutes? <laughs> hey, my friends, thank you for your participation. Now, live long and prosper.